Up in the intensity of your exercise, sleeping more, changing your diet, what is the final answer to get to your goal? Start right now. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Arbella from ProPhysique.com. And today's question, we're gonna address the idea of losing your chin fat. If you haven't noticed, your boy Paul here has gotten a little leaner in the face. How did I do that? Did I buy a jar sizer? Hell no, I didn't buy no jar sizer. We're gonna talk about the actual way that you lose body fat on your face and on your abdomen, on your lower back, whatever body part you want to. And I know everyone's gonna jump in here before they even watch the video because of the title of the video, because I gotta make it catchy and say, you can't spot reduce. But I have something to tell you. You can spot reduce. You just gotta get to that spot so that the body will reduce it. Let me explain what I mean. First things first, today's question comes from right here. Thank you guys for your great questions. I love all my new subscribers. Thank you guys. Comment below if you have been with me for a long time. We just crossed that 500,000 subscriber number. I think it's been about 16 years. So thank you guys. I realize we've had a lot of subscribers this year. So my goal here for you guys is to add value to your success in your fitness journey. So subscribe if you haven't. Ask me questions if you haven't. Go to my Instagram and send me your questions. I have a little bit of love handles. More on my non-dominant side. My main area of focus is my front belly. Like you said in one of your videos, this is one of the last areas to lose body fat. I always want to know your thoughts on losing a double chin for the stomach, the chin area. Do I up the intensity of my cardio exercise, sleep a little bit more, eat a little bit less, drink a little bit more water. He's doing 10 to 12,000 steps a day. He's been stuck at about 190 pounds and he wants to keep dropping body fat. Well, this is the greatest question you can ask because you've had some success. So I'm going to assume you've done a few things. First things first, you've held some accountability with your nutrition. You've made some changes in your daily routine. Guys, body fat is not stubborn. People are stubborn. We refuse to change the way that we do things. If you change your daily routine, your body fat will come off. Body fat is simply the result of over consuming calories and being underactive. That is our body's way of storing more energy. It is a survival mechanism. You just gotta tell your body, hey, I don't need all this extra energy. I'm not trying to survive. I'm trying to look good. Okay, I'm going on Jersey Shore tryouts. I want a six pack, but seriously, even your face stores body fat. So my favorite analogy, and you guys will probably know where I'm going with this if you've been watching my videos for a little while, is the paper towel roll. My friend, pull out a paper towel roll. I want you to look at the cardboard center of that paper towel roll. Now, spot reducing your body fat means you've got to get to the place where your body starts to lose fat from that area. So as we unroll the paper towels, the towels on the outside are the places we lose fat from first. How do we know what those areas are gonna be? Well, I've gone through enough fat loss phases in my life. If you've seen me here, 230, 240 pounds, you've seen me here, 200 pounds. I've gone through this process multiple times and I'll tell you, for me, I can tell when I'm getting leaner because I've seen the fat come off in a certain pattern on my body that's specific to me. Now, there are typically patterns that are normal for most people. I will say the reason that our stomachs tend to be the last thing for men, lower back, especially for me is the very last thing. I think it has a lot to do with genetic predisposition and history. And of course, if you think about the areas that are holding on to the body fat the most, they also protect some vital organs. They're also near our stomach where, you know, maybe adipose tissue is easier to store. Whatever the reason may be, these areas tend to be the last couple paper towel rolls. For some people, they're gonna keep the chunk in their face. We in the fitness industry, the, those of us that decide to do bodybuilding competitions, we get something called diet face. And I've seen some people comment on my videos that I look older when I'm shredded. Well, first of all, it's this lighting, okay? I'm trying to look a little bit leaner, which also makes the face look a little bit bonier, but I can promise you, I look much younger in person when I'm 30 pounds lighter. The jaw structure, the cheekbones, they make me look like a model. Don't be jealous. That's right, I am Derek Zoolander. However, for you to reach this spot, when you're stuck, you've got to look at all the factors that you're doing. There isn't one thing. You said a lot of great things. Should you eat less? Should you move more? Should you get good sleep? Should you up the intensity of your cardio? That would be a great place to start. All of those things, right? Really what we have to think of when it comes to fat loss is losing as a campaign. It's not a day, it's not a week, it's not a month. It takes us years to store body fat. Our body gets so used to having that body fat, it becomes the new norm. Your body will resist you, right? There is a set point in everyone's body and you can kind of change that over time so that your happy place actually becomes 
20, 30 pounds overweight. However, I promise you, if you get that body fat off and keep it off for a little while, that will become your new set point. You won't be as hungry. You'll have really good habits. And this is why I preach an approach that requires flexibility and accountability. And if you haven't used my macro calculator, it's prophysique.com slash calculator. I'll link it below. You go there, you plug in your age, your height, your weight, and you plug in a bunch of factors and it's gonna tell you what you should be eating daily for protein, carbs, and fats to reach your goals. Body fat loss, rapid fat loss, muscle gain. Maybe I'm gonna go through a bulking phase in the near future. I'll walk you guys through that as well. But the point is, is that those numbers are gonna be specific to you and it can be a great starting point. If you've already been dieting, like you mentioned, do a recall, download an app. My favorite one is Fat Secret. I've also been using Nutritionix. Plug in the numbers, just plug it in and go, oh man, I didn't realize I was eating only 60 grams of protein and 200 grams of fat. Flip flop those numbers, 200 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat. Watch the miracle happen when you actually give your body the nutrients it requires to build muscle, lose body fat, have good energy throughout the day, our bodies want to be fit. We only have to allow it to happen, okay? You don't have to fight to get low body fat. If you put your body in a position where you are doing a lot, you already said you're doing a ton of steps, you do resistance training a couple days a week so that we're not losing lean body mass, and you just learn to eat with good habits, you can still be flexible, you can still go out to eat, you can still eat the foods you enjoy, you just need to be accountable. You know you're doing something wrong when you're doing it wrong. You know when you go out to eat and you order that extra dessert. When you eat off someone else's plate, you're like, yeah, I probably don't need this. It's simply having a measure of control. Now, I am gonna be running a transformation challenge in the early part of 2024. The reason I bring that up is because one of the key factors in success and weight loss is having a deadline. Simply saying, I'd like to get leaner, sorry, that's not gonna work for most people. You have to have a deadline. You need to have a wedding. You need to have a bodybuilding show. You need to have a photo shoot. You need to have a vacation. You need to have an event that you're excited for. Guys, that's why I do bodybuilding competitions. Not because I wanna get leaner, but because I enjoy the deadline of it. I enjoy the competition of it. For me, that's exciting. I get down to you know 5% body fat, whatever the number may be, for a temporary amount of time, and I push myself for weeks and months. And then when I'm not doing that, I'm thinking about in a couple of years, I'm gonna do it again. So there's always this in the back of my mind, making good decisions. 11 months ago, I decided not to drink alcohol anymore. Haven't had a drink in almost a year. Is that a big deal? Well, I had some specific goals this year. I wanted to do a bodybuilding competition. I did, I actually won at my competition. I might do another one in the near future or next year. So those decisions that I'm making daily about not eating like a jerk, about not getting the extra dessert, about putting myself in a position to look and feel the best I can be every single day, never missing workouts, getting up early, doing my cardio. You know, these are things that are just daily decisions that I make. It's not that hard for me at this point. I'm just maintaining the routine that I have. It's not hard for you to brush your teeth, is it? No, you just do it. Make fitness, make your diet, make your training, make your daily cardio, make your activity, make tracking, just another part of your day. And I promise you it's that easy. It's a mental hurdle to get over it the first time. It's a mental hurdle to be hungry for the first time and not just go grab something every time you get that hunger signal. But once you skip a meal and say, oh, I shouldn't eat something, and you wake up the next day and you're down two pounds, it's gonna trigger something that you're gonna go, aha, now I know what I need to do. Okay, guys, don't wanna get too far off topic because the point of this video is that spot reducing fat requires you to lose body fat until you get to the spot that it comes off. It's gonna be different for everybody. But I will say this, your face should tighten up anytime you get around 15% body fat. Anytime you get to like 12 or 10, that's when you're starting to get the diet face, guys. Okay. And if you really wanna lose that lower back fat, for me, I gotta be honest, guys, when my lower back is shredded, like I'll show you here on the screen, I'm probably seven, six, 5% body fat. That is the part of my body that likes to give me the big F you. Thanks. We've all got a cross to bear. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.